below, really yellow and amber. Those are about 1800 points. So a normal interior home light uh, for the kind of light that you're looking for. A little bit of warmth to it, a lot of brightness. Yeah, 2700. Now, the, uh, the only other thing there is the color rendering index. This is sometimes more important in, than in other situations. There are some industrial applications or commercial applications. But the color rendering index is an index of how accurate apartment light will uh, reproduce the faithfulness of the colors of the objects that it's lighting up. You're like, I've never heard of this before. Well, it's a thing. Bad lighting can muddy up the colors of the objects in your house. So the color rendering index is a scale of 0 to 100, 100 being perfection, perfect rendering. Uh, you're looking for a, a CRI rating on a bulb of 90 plus. 90 plus, anything in the 90s is going to give you a really faithful Sorry. rendering of colors in your home. Okay, so apartment, apartment. Say, uh, uh, you know what? In neonatal care units, it's critical to have a CRI above like 95. Because when the newborns come out, one of the ways we evaluate newborns is the color of their skin. You know, are, are they kind of jaundiced? Are they blue? Or, you know, <clears throat> And so in that situation, those bulbs, right over the little whatever that is uh, that, that they put them in uh, to evaluate, uh, first off, it's really important that those bulbs are rendering the colors of, a, of an infant's skin really accurately. And for your home, as far as just the pleasantness of all of your good stuff. Oh, and art restoration, too, requires CRIs. Otherwise, you're going to pick the wrong colors when you're restoring that art. So, you see, it's an important thing. Okay, I have talked too long on that. Uh, let's go to the phone. we got time for one. Tony, welcome home. Hi, Dean. How are you? We're doing a complete kitchen remodel with cabinets, floors, and appliances. And my question is, do the cabinets, uh, should those sit on the subfloor, or do we install all of the wood floors first? And the part that seems the most trickiest from what I've read is how to handle the dishwasher. Ah, yes. Okay, so uh, it's a good question, really good question. Uh, and <clears throat> it depends. It depends. Uh, and I say that in all uh, sincerity because, I don't know, maybe, maybe... I would say maybe 75% of the time, typically, we will not install on top of the floors, on top of the hardwood floor or the tile. Sometimes just purely from the practicality that, you know, why do you want to run the expense of hardwood all the way underneath uh, cabinet kicks where it will never be seen again? So simply to save square footage of cabinets. But there's also another reason. I, I see, I'm sorry, save square footage of uh, flooring material. The other reason is that uh, sometimes, uh, <laughs> uh, quite often, floors are not perfectly level, and so your cabinet installers will uh, uh, quite possibly have to shim up the, uh, the rough cabinet kicks. Now, these days, <clears throat> rough cabinet kicks get shimmed, and then there is a, uh, a finished kick plate that goes over it, and then the shims are hidden, and, uh, and they meet the floor very nicely. So, uh, but that's a consideration as well. But I would say typically what we're aiming for is to not run material underneath the cabinet kicks because it's unnecessary. Now, when it comes to the dishwasher, whatever the flooring is in the room, that we do run in because the dishwasher is just an area, a void area. So we go ahead and run that material into the dishwasher area so that the dishwasher doesn't get trapped behind flooring material down in the recess uh, there. And I know some people are like, well, I don't know if I want to run hardwood in there because what if the dishwasher leaks? I guarantee you, if the dishwasher leaks and you've got hardwood in your kitchen, it's going to go way beyond just uh, the wood that's directly underneath. It's going to uh, affect, you know, the wood in the whole area there. So it's kind of a moot point when it comes to that argument. I just prefer the idea that we can easily slide the dishwasher in and out for installation or service uh, or what have you. So... My recommendation is typically save the money on the extra flooring material. Now, occasionally, 
there is a situation where he's like, well, I, I don't want to put the cabinets in yet because there's all this other stuff, and if we have to set the cabinets, then uh, then uh, they're going to get in the way and they're going to get beat up, uh, so I'd rather have the flooring go in without the cabinets. Well, you can ask your cabinet manufacturer uh, or installer to put in rough kicks, just the kicks themselves, uh, detached from the cabinet boxes, and uh, that way... Once the kicks are in place, they determine the cabinet set, and then your flooring people can get in there and lay all the flooring in the kitchen uh, without the cabinets in their way. That's a, only something that happens, though, when it comes to uh, cabinets that have detachable kicks, where the kicks are separate from the boxes themselves, and you have to uh, talk to your cabinet uh, person about that. But typically, eh, we wouldn't recommend wasting material underneath the cabinet. Kate, does it matter, though? Uh, not really. It's not really going to change the install much. Always account for the height of the hardwood floor, though. So don't set yourself up for a 36-inch tall countertop and put in, you know, uh, 5 eighths or 3 quarters of an inch of hardwood and find yourself uh, with shorter cabinets. So the kicks have to be taller if they're going to go in before uh, the hardwood. Thanks for the question, Tony. All right, when we return... More questions. You're home with Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Claudette Stefanian has the news. A flex alert has been issued for this evening in an effort to ease some of the strain on the power system during the heat wave. During that time, people are encouraged to power down major appliances to set their thermostats to 78 degrees or higher. The city of LA is working to remove homeless camps along the Venice boardwalk. Crews from the sanitation department worked overnight Thursday into Friday morning to remove tents and debris. Giant pandas are no longer classified as an endangered, endangered species. The Chinese Ministry of Ecology and Environment says the number of giant pandas living in the wild has reached more than 1,800, so the species have been reclassified as a vulnerable population. Trouble on the five. Next. All right, I'm going to help you spell a very important word, Duffy. D-U-T-H-I-E, as in Duffy Power, uh, Southern California's emergency generator experts. Great. Now, guess what? Learning to spell Duffy is literally the hardest part of getting emergency backup power for your home. Power outages are the new normal. Uh, Tina and I just went through one this week. The solution is simple. You call Duffy Power, it never has to happen to your home again. Uh, just like this week, we remained in studio, working in our design studio, uninterrupted, even though the entire neighborhood was down, we were not. So, you call Duffy. KFI trusts Duffy with our generators because Duffy does it all, from the largest commercial systems down to your emergency power needs in your home. And with stuff like 0% interest financing, payments as low as $72 a month, emergency power is totally affordable, so why not step up? Call Duffy Power today. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the words Duffy Power. Pound 250, Duffy Power, or find them on the web at DuffyPower.com. That's D-U-T-H-I-E Power.com. Don't overpay for glasses. Get two pairs and a free exam for just $69.95. The exam alone is worth 50 bucks. That's not just a better deal. It's America's best. Book your exam online today. In certain states, eye exams provided by independent optometrists or ophthalmologists. See store for details. Southland weather from KFI Sunshine for today. Highs from the low to mid-70s at the beaches to mid to upper 80s. Inland highs in the 80s and 90s for the valleys. Highs in the upper 70s to 60s for the inland of sea and highs in the mid-90s to 103 in the IE. This report brought to you by America's Best Contact and Eyeglasses. Trouble on the five. Being Castaic on the, north, the southbound side of the five before Hadley Canyon Road. It's a crash. Take it away. Two right lanes have got you back to almost to Lake Hughes Road. In Fillmore on the westbound side of the 210 between Hubbard and the five. Caltrans has all lanes shut down all weekend long till around 5 o'clock Monday morning. Take uh, Foothill Boulevard instead. And West Covina, West Side of the 10 between Barranca and Vincent. You still have the carpool and two left lanes shut down by Caltrans. A really jammed up drive there as well. KFI in the sky helps get there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it'd be too difficult or take too much time? Then try Babbel. Whether you want to learn Spanish for future travel plans, French to connect with extended family, or maybe German to land a new job, Babbel works because it's built around real life. It teaches you everyday practical conversations that you'll actually use. 
All you need is 15 minutes a day, and you'll be on your way to confidently speaking a new language in just a few weeks. Babbel is designed by real language experts using a modern, conversation-based technique that makes learning fun, engaging, and best of all, memorable. It starts by teaching you words and phrases, then sentences gradually get more complex. Soon you're practicing short conversations about real-life topics. And with 14 languages to choose from and lesson topics like travel, business, relationships, and more, you'll be sure to learn what matters most to you. Babbel, language for life. Learn a new language with ease. Go to babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. This report is sponsored by Discover. Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year. It's amazing because Discover is accepted at 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report limitations apply. If you want out of your house, uh, moving, downsizing, you have financial issues, maybe you've inherited, so you list it with a broker, and that means hours of cleaning and painting and repairing and paying big fees. So let me give you another way of doing it. You get a fair price without any of that. Buyer never walks through your house. There's never an appraisal, no commissions, and you can get paid in cash within 10 days or less if you need it. That's directbuyers.com. That's the company that Janet and Matt, brother and sister, own, and I love the way they do business. They'll never lowball you. They're just honest folks. And let me tell you, a lot of schmucks in this industry, and that's not what they are. They'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer and even offer a $15,000 cash advance before closing. Go to directbuyers.com. That's directbuyers.com. Call 844-242-SELL. 844-242-SELL. Directbuyers.com. Staples Connect can help your business grow with custom printed sales and marketing materials. Right now, get $20 off signs, banners, or posters when you spend $75 or more. Offer N731 exclusions apply. Visit staples.com slash signage. Staples Connect, the working and learning store. I love the ocean. I also respect the ocean. So when I'm paddling, I always wear my life jacket because things can change fast. You should do the same, and so should the people that you're with. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. All right, let me talk to you for a second about uh, your water heater, replacing your water heater, uh, what makes it easy uh, because of the exceptional Southern California company that has made servicing and replacing water heaters their specialty for over 53 years. That company is water heaters only. And as the name suggests, they do one thing, water heaters only. And the simple fact is they do them better than anybody else. Water heaters are no longer simple, but water heaters only make them simple. If your water heater needs repair or replacement, you call water heaters only and, uh, well, that's it. Water heaters only is on the case the same day. You don't have to go anywhere or call anyone else because water heaters only has everything you need and knows more about water heaters than anyone else you could call. And because they do water heaters only, they also get the best equipment and the best prices. 4.8 out of 5 stars after thousands of reviews. Do you have any idea what it takes to maintain that kind of rating for 53 years? And for a limited time, you can get zero interest on a new water heater for 24 months or payments as low as $89. So just reach out to the company that does water heaters only. That's waterheatersonly.com, waterheatersonly.com. I want to break free. Ready to break free? Norwegian Cruise Line is back and sailing this summer. Get back in the Caribbean or take in the stunning sights in Europe. And with our robust health and safety programs, you can cruise confidently. Book today and enjoy 30% off all cruises, free open bar, free airfare, and more. Visit ncl.com. Call your travel advisor or 1-888-NCL-CRUISE. Offer and soon. Norwegian Cruise Line. Sail safe. Feel free. Ship registry the Bahamas in USA. Restrictions apply. I know the weight of the world seems to rest on your shoulders, and sometimes life seems like it's filled only with confusion and chaos. But I assure you, I have a plan for you. The Jesus Christ Show, tomorrow morning at 6 on KMI AM 640. More stimulating talk.
Dean Sharp, the house whisperer. Welcome home. We're answering some of the most common listener questions. The special list, because these are these aren't just questions that get asked every once in a while. They get asked a lot again and again and again and again. We encounter them constantly. So we've set aside some uh, time just to address these questions. Tina's got the list. Uh, let's jump back in. Okay, so this one has to do with, um, I would say, what we've been calling aging in place as we uh, talk about... Something I'm doing right now. <laughs> as we talk about being able to stay in your home as you get older and you may end up needing to have a walker or a wheelchair. And so how do we work around that? We've talked a lot about, you know, residential elevators. But in this case, this is a simple one. Um, people want to know what is the size that your doorway should be in order for a wheelchair to be able to pass through? Uh, the tricky wheelchair question. Uh, it's tricky only in one regard. People misunderstand the proper answer to it. Okay. So, uh, now... There are different size wheelchairs out there these days. You know, obviously smaller ones for uh, smaller wheelchairs for smaller people, and there are some kind of jumbo size wheelchairs that this may not apply to. But the uh, the American Disabilities Act, the ADA, uh, has specified uh, recommended uh, access uh, allowances in a residence. The ADA uh, requirement for a, a doorway that accommodates a wheelchair uh, properly is uh, 32 inches, okay? 32 inches. That's a 2-8 that's a door, what we call 2-foot-8 wide door, which is a beautifully common uh, and uh, a and nice open doorway inside a house. But here's the trick! The recommendation, if you read it carefully, is 32 inches clear space through the doorway. And uh, think about this for a second. Open a door with a normal hinge on it. What happens? What are we looking at? The door itself, the thickness of the door, remains inside the opening. Okay, so when you open a door, the door doesn't clear the jam completely. It's sitting there uh, at a 90 degree angle. It's sitting there uh, jutting in a couple of inches. So, a two foot eight door, a 32 inch door, is the wrong size door to create a 32 inch clear opening you need to step up to one size and the next common size up is a 36 inch door so the requirement for clear space to roll the uh, to roll the wheelchair through so that not only the wheelchair but the person operating it doesn't have to bang their knuckles against the the jam okay is 32 inches to get 32 inches, you can't use a 32-inch door. You need to use a 36-inch door. Go boom. There, there you go. go. Okay, this is another one that we uh, often come across as we are designing. Does it? my shower head and the shower valves have to be on the same wall? No, they do not. The shower head, uh, and, and, and I want you to think of, in old terms, like we used to put together old stereo sets, right? Uh, all components. Everything inside that shower is a component. So the mixing valve, the diverter valve, you know, you can have a very elaborate uh, kind of shower setup or a simple one, but the, the point is the shower head has no direct relationship with the valve set whatsoever other than it's connected to the valve set via a pipe. That pipe can go straight up so the shower head can be right above uh, the, the valve. Or it can be on the other side of the shower, or the back, or the ceiling. Well, why is it so common, Dean, that the, the shower head is right above the valve? Because in the track home that you live in, the builders wanted to put in the easiest way with the least amount of pipe. So the answer is no. You can have your shower valve anywhere you want. And in a truly custom, well-built shower, by the way, BT Dub, uh, what you want is uh, to be able to open the shower glass reach in and uh, turn on the valves without being directly underneath the shower head uh, at the time so that it, you can sample the water until it's the right temperature. Okay? Exactly. So you open the valve and then put your hand over to the left or to the right uh, into the water 
uh, so that you know no one likes having to turn the valves on and be right underneath the shower head when that blast of cold comes out so there you go all right we got many many more questions to answer we're going to do it as soon as we come back i'm so glad you joined me this morning so much more to come you're home with dean sharp the house whisperer on kfi Phone, car radio, smart toaster, we don't care how you listen, just that you do. KFI. KLST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Agar Radio app. Fatal crash. I'm Claudette Stefani, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. A four year old girl has been killed in a car crash in Harbor City. The girl's five-year-old brother and a man in the car were injured in the crash just after 8 last night on South Vermont Avenue. Cops say the family's car swerved to avoid another car and hit a pole, then rolled over. A study shows traffic in L.A. may be worse than before the pandemic. In fact, one report shows an 8% increase in the amount of traffic on freeways in Southern California. Research from INRIX found drivers on the 101, 110, and 405 are losing 19 hours a week to congestion at a cost of $664 per driver per year. During the peak of the pandemic, L.A. had two of the worst traffic corridors in the country. And while traffic may be up post-pandemic, the report shows 21% fewer miles driven and 21% fewer collisions. Steve Gregory, KFI News. It's up to the Senate to decide whether Mayor Garcetti will head to India as a U.S. ambassador. The White House says President Biden nominated Garcetti for the role yesterday. Garcetti tells NBC4 that he hadn't planned to leave L.A. so soon, but he would be happy to be part of the Biden administration. When the service calls, you answer that call, especially when it comes from a, a dear friend who is the commander-in-chief of our nation. Garcetti's term as mayor ends next December. If confirmed, he'll be the first L.A. mayor to voluntarily leave office before the end of a term in over a hundred years. Illinois has become the first state to require Asian American history to be taught in public schools. The governor signed the Teaching Equitable Asian American Community History Act yesterday. It requires students to be taught the history of Asian Americans in Illinois and the Midwest and also their contributions toward advancing civil rights. The law will go into effect for the 2022-2023 school year. President Biden is signing an executive order to promote competition in the American economy. That means that if your companies want to win your business, they have to go out and they have to up their game. Better prices and services, and new ideas and products. But competition keeps the economy moving and keeps it growing. He said major corporations are consuming their competitors, which makes it harder for startup companies to hold their own. Biden said too many Americans have to accept a bad deal for goods and services they can't live without. A customs and border protection seizure has people all a flutter. Three thousand pairs of fake eyelashes have been seized by U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents after officials determined they were illegally imported from China. Agency spokesperson Matthew Diamond says the four boxes of long lashes were intercepted on their way to a beauty supply store in New Orleans. He says the lashes haven't been approved by the FDA and were missing labels, which means there's no way to tell whether the eyelashes had been exposed to disease or whether they were stored properly and kept away from insect-infested areas. Amy King, KFI News. Closure on the 210. It's on the westbound side of the 210 between Hubbard and the 5 as you head into Stillmar. Caltrans has all lanes shut down until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. And you can take Foothill Boulevard to get around the closure there. In Castaic on the southbound side of the 5 before Hadley Canyon Road. A crash in the two right lanes is causing a backup starting around Lake Hughes. And West Covina still some Caltrans work on the westbound side of the 10. Baronka, Defensive, they're in the process of wrapping up this closure in the carpool and two left lanes. Watch for delays as you head through the area. In Ontario, the eastbound side of the 60, Euclid just rolled. We have two right lanes shut down by Caltrans. There's also a crash at the start of the closure there that's adding to delays from mountains. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robert Bucky. When it comes to your identity and keeping it safe, the folks at LifeLock want to make sure that your information stays secure. So let's say during the pandemic, or even now, you're working overtime, you're saving your money, you're paying off your debt, and now some identity thief wants to steal your information. This is why LifeLock by Norton helps monitor your information and alerts you to potential identity threats. And if you do become a victim, a dedicated U.S.-based specialist will be there to help fix it. Now, no one can prevent all identity theft to monitor every transaction in every business, but 
when identity thieves try to take what's yours, you don't have to take it lying down because there's a lifelock. Save up to 25% off your first year, call 800 LifeLock or go to LifeLock.com promo code handle. That's LifeLock.com promo code handle or call 800 LifeLock promo code handle. Once again, that's promo code handle for 25% off at LifeLock.com. Southland weather from KFI Sunshine for today. Highs from the low to mid 70s at the beaches to mid to upper 80s inland. Highs in the 80s and 90s for the valleys. Highs in the upper 70s to 60s for the inland OC. And highs in the mid 90s to 103 in the IE. Taking you through temperatures, we are seeing in the Southland in Newport Beach at 67, Dana Point 65, Santa Fe Springs 69, and Pasadena 68. We lead local live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Claudette Stefani. <laughs> Alabama, Arkansas, Arkansas, love my mountain song, not the way that I do love you. But well, holy moly, me oh my, you're the apple of my eye, girl, I never loved one like you. kitchen they're just going uh custom home builder custom home designer that's what i am here with you live like i am every weekend saturdays from six to eight sundays from nine to eleven it is just a little after seven o'clock so welcome welcome to the second hour of our fine program what are we all about we're here to help to be an advocate for you as you wrestle with construction issues to be a design mentor because design matters most when it comes to transforming your home and uh, just to be a friend, helping you build yourself a more beautiful home, a more beautiful life, and uh, do it more affordably and more artfully than you ever imagined. We are in the middle of answering uh, a very special list, uh, what we call common listener questions. Not just the occasional question. No, we get these again and again. These are kind of pervasive questions that we get asked on a regular basis, so we thought, you know what, let's uh, set a show aside and answer a few of them. So, with that, uh, without any further ado, uh, let's go back to it. Tina, what do we got next? Uh, how can I tell if I have a plumbing leak? That's a common one for us, especially with copper failing. True. Uh, okay, so the easiest way to figure out that you have a plumbing leak, if you suspect, no, uh, obviously, if there's a wet spot on the floor or the wall or the ceiling, you may have a plumbing leak. Uh, but I think the the, the real question... you'll get a letter from the water company and they'll say, you know, you've noticed that you've had this large amount of water more than normal for the last 24 hours, so yeah. you may have a leak. Yes. Okay. So, and uh, when you get, if you get a letter like that uh, from the water company, the first culprit usually to look at is uh, to... Go out and activate your sprinklers. Uh, activate your sprinkler system. Run through all the circuits on your sprinkler system. Because what I have found the most common thing is uh, sprinklers are going off. Nobody's paying attention to them. Hopefully, in Southern California, your sprinklers are set to go off at nighttime, not during the day. But then again, uh, when that happens, you're not really paying attention to them. And if you have lost a sprinkler head, you know, you may have a geyser out there you may be consuming a lot of water out of that system, way more than you normally would. It doesn't mean you have a leak. It just means that uh, you're blowing water unnecessarily through an open sprinkler line while the sprinklers are running. Okay, but putting that aside and any other sign of a visible leak, there's actually a really easy way to tell. 
and it has been provided to you by uh, the company that made your water meter. So first of all, know where your water meter is. Your water meter is out on the edge of your property, out in front, near the street. It's very likely in the parkway, uh, in between the sidewalk and the curb, if you have a parkway. Uh, the water meter's got a cover on it. That cover can be lifted off uh, super easy. Uh, if it's a little bit, uh, you know, junked in there with mud or whatever, then uh, take out a screwdriver, bring a long screwdriver with you and put it in the hole and kind of pry it out. But the cover will come off. Be careful reaching down inside there because it's the kind of place that is damp and uh, covered up most of the time. And so, you know, creepy crawlers like to hide out in there. There's probably some snails in there or maybe a black widow spider. So just be careful about that. But you will find underneath that cover your water meter. And on the top of your water meter is a little uh, cap that covers up the dial. Flip up that cap and you will find the dial. It looks like an odometer on your car. And because it is sitting there measuring the amount of gallons of water you are consuming that the water company is going to charge you for. Right on that dial, ignore the big numbers on the odometer. Look for a tiny little star. Sometimes it's a triangle. Sometimes it's star-shaped. Sometimes it's a funky other shape. But it's a tiny little dial indicator. Uh, it's either black or red or yellow. And <clears throat> if you are not sure, if you think you're looking at it but you're not sure, the best way to tell is to have somebody turn on some water inside the house. Flip on a, a, a faucet at a sink. That little dial is the infinitesimal uh, water leakage dial. In other words, that tiny little dial, if any water, any water at all, is moving through the water meter, that dial will turn. It may turn slowly, it may turn fast. That is your leak indicator dial. So, if you suspect you might have a leak, or somebody has put it in your head that you might have a leak, then simply make sure no water is being consumed anywhere on the property. All faucets are off, the dishwasher isn't running, the laundry isn't going, there's no demand whatsoever. Go out to the water meter, turn it on, I mean, uh, uh, turn it on, open it up, look at the dial, <clears throat> and if that little uh, indicator is not moving, you do not have a leak uh, in your system. If it is moving, then somewhere water is being consumed. And then the next step is to figure out where. Uh, and um, usually, when, unfortunately, when there is a leak that you cannot see moisture on walls or ceilings or anything like that, uh, especially in an older home in Southern California, there's a good chance it's happening in this lab. And uh, so if you are convinced you have a leak, you call out a leak detection service. They'll scan the slab, try and find the accumulated water underneath and then you have to deal with it uh, from there. It may be time to abandon the copper pipes that are down below the slab and uh, repipe those supply lines overhead. But that is how it's done. Okay, really good question. I know you got a ton more. Uh, we'll dive back in with Tina's question. Well, they aren't Tina's questions, but she's reading them. Uh, as we return, I'm so glad you joined me this morning. So much more to come. You're listening to Home with Dean Sharp, the House Whisperer. Police three people have been hurt during a drive-by shooting outside Mount Ferry Farm in Buena Park. The shooting happened around 8.40 last night. A plus alert has been issued for Tanai in an effort to ease some of the strain on the power system during the heat wave. A new report shows traffic in L.A. has jumped up 8% following the peak of the pandemic. Trouble on the five now. So you're ready to build your new dream kitchen. That is so exciting. Uh, your first move should be this, going to the kitchen store. Why? Because you can have a totally free in showroom consult with one of the kitchen store's expert kitchen designers. What is that going to do for you? It's going to get you started in the right direction. You're going to be flooded with inspiration in the kitchen store 7,000 square foot cabinet design showroom. There is no showroom like it in all of Southern California. All of the finest cabinets, every imaginable style, every cutting edge accessory, everything you need to know to include or exclude from your kitchen is right there. And the expert kitchen designer is going to give you their creativity and their wisdom. 
So, kitchen storage right off the 405 in Culver City. For more than 50 years, it's the place for kitchen cabinets in Southern California. State-of-the-art computer design, 12 months thing with cash financing, pricing that beats even the big box home center. So start your new kitchen right, set up your free consult today by dialing 310-KITCHEN, that's 310-KITCHEN, and check out the kitchen store on the web at 310kitchen.com. Southland weather from KFI sunshine for today. Highs from the low to mid 70s at the beaches to mid to upper 80s inland. Highs in the 80s and 90s for the valleys. Highs in the upper 70s to 60s for the inland OC. And highs in the mid 90s to 103 in the IE. Let's check in on the five. Being Castaic on the southbound side of the 5 before Hasley Canyon Road. It's crashed it has now only the left lane open for you. Everything else is shut down. You're jammed back to Lake Hughes Road. Still more on the westbound side of the 210 freeway. Hubbard to the 5. Caltrans work has all lanes shut down until Monday morning around 5 o'clock. You can take Foothill Boulevard, your Boulevard to get around that closure. And Ontario on the eastbound side of the 60. Euclid to Grove. The right lane shut down all weekend long. And you also have a crash there at the start of the closure. Adding to the delay is really heavy from Mountain. KFI in the sky helps it get faster. I'm Robert Kentucky. I'm Mike Huggins, the former governor of Arkansas and 2016 presidential candidate. Like many of you, I struggled to get a good night's sleep until about two years ago. That's when I saw an ad on TV for relaxing and sleep, and it literally changed my life. Developed by renowned neurologist Dr. Eric Silberti, Dorantium Sleep is clinically proven to help you fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up refreshed. Relaxium's triple action formula addresses three key factors that contribute to insomnia. With Relaxium Sleep, I fall asleep as soon as my head hits the pillow. I find I've got more energy and focus. I trust my night to Relaxium Sleep, and so should you. Get the sleep you need with Relaxium, so you can live your life to the fullest. Your best sleep guaranteed or your money back. Call 800-999-6410 or go to Relaxium.com. Use promo code Mike and save 50%. Call 800-999-6410 or go to Relaxium.com. This report is sponsored by America's Best Contact and Eyeglasses. Don't overpay for glasses. Get two pairs and a free exam for just $69.95. The exam alone is worth $50. Bucks. That's not just a better deal. It's America's Best. Book your exam online today. In certain states, eye exams provided by independent optometrists or ophthalmologists. See for the details. When our first responders and military die in the line of duty, the Tunnel to Towers Foundation pays off their mortgages, bringing families with young children stability. For catastrophically injured veterans and first responders, Tunnel to Towers builds mortgage-free smart homes to give them their independence. Our nation's heroes, people who are willing to die for you and me, need your help. Donate $11 a month to Tunnel to Towers at T2T.org. That's T, the number two, T.org. This report is sponsored by America's Best Contact and Eyeglasses. And the most important financial decision you'll make isn't picking the next top stock or fund manager. It's selecting the right financial advisor. How do you pick the advisor that's right for you? Find out in a special virtual event with New York Times best-selling author Rick Edelman, Tuesday, July 20th at 3 p.m. or at 8 p.m. Eastern. It's free. Register at EdelmanFinancialEngines.com. During the event, you'll get advice on how to select the right financial advisor. And you'll get a list of the 11 must-ask questions you can carry with you when you interview financial advisors. If you already have an advisor, you can use the list to evaluate if they are right for you. The virtual event will give you all the information you need to help you make the right decision. And Rick will make it entertaining. The presentation is free. So register right now for this special virtual event on July 20th at 3 p.m. or at 8 p.m. Eastern. Register at EdelmanFinancialEngines.com. That's EdelmanFinancialEngines.com.